Well, hello there to my Leos. This is Queen Amora coming to you with your general reading, Leos. Happy full moon phase. That portal is open, so make sure you all are doing your, if you if you participate in full moon rituals, I don't want to force anything on anybody, but if you participate in full moon rituals, that portal is open. You can go ahead and start doing your full moon rituals. You're probably watching the video on the 18th, but the video is for the 19th of July through the 26th of July. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your general reading. So take only what resonates with you if you're interested in a personal reading. My information is down below in the description. Let's get into it. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards, Leos. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on, Leos. Let's see what's going on. I've already prayed over your cards. I already asked Most High God for complete and total clarity. Um, complete and total clarity. Um, and uh, so let's see. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on in your cards. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's see what's going on in your cards. Let's see what's going on. We have digital journals and digital calendars um, below on our Etsy store. So go check them out. Completely in total. That's uh, that is optional. right? You can create your own if you like. But don't forget to journal your journey. Right. Because a lot of information is coming down. Here we have the eight of swords. Here we have the four of swords. Here we have the the uh, Seven of Wands, here we have the Two of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and then also the Tower card. So something has been feel, making somebody feel re real restricted, like almost like driving somebody crazy, you know, and sources saying it's time for you to get some rest. Something has been like, like literally like making somebody feel like drying up your, like see this water right here? Um, remember these ropes are not tight and these sores right here. So it's basically like cut, cut out the, um, like cut out the overthinking, like to the point where you can do your mirror work instead. Remember we have, um, Mercury is pre shadow retrograde right now. So anything that you're overthinking to a point where it's just like, okay, it's driving me. It's like, it's driving me just out of my mind. Like, what is it? Source is saying there's, there's always an option of doing the mirror work. That's always an option, right? Of you doing your own mirror work, looking in the mirror and just kind of sort of seeing things through a different lens. That's always an option, right? Doing your own mirror work, getting your rest, all of that. Cause somebody's having a tower moment right now. So I see you eventually being able to defend your decision to move on from something without coming across as defensive. There's two situations in particular that source is saying you need to get away from that. See this person on the motorcycle, you need to get away from that fast because their karmic ties is and, and it was like a negative tie. It's a ne negative connection to something. And so somebody don't realize that even thinking and talking about it is keeping you connected to it. Having any kind of emotional connection, thought about third thought word and deed is keeping somebody connected to something and it's keeping you in a karmic connection and that's why somebody's having a tower moment so source is saying you're in a very vulnerable state right now and adding all this overthinking to think about this air nothing can live without air so you're a fire sign so and it's evaporating your emotions evaporating water connects us to joy it connects us to feelings. It connects us to e your emotions, your feelings, subconscious habits, your mood, your sexuality, your sensuality, your intuition. It's literally drying up everything. Like it's like everything is feel like it's just drying up because somebody when it when it comes to two situations in particular, somebody just feels like okay, what is like why can't I stop thinking about certain things? Okay, so let's add a solution to this. First of all, we're getting closer and closer to a full moon. The second thing is, and which is normal, right? Because full moon starts to illuminate even more and more and more inside of us. Our intuition becomes stronger. You become even more sensitive. It's not even a joke that when you see these werewolf movies, it's like this something comes alive inside of, you know, like even more and more intense inside of us during the full moon, right? But it's also a time of celebration, Right. So it's really what you choose to focus on. And so Mercury being pre-shadow retrograde, 
not only is Mercury the planet of knowledge, I mean, messenger and communication planet, which most people know that Merc Mercury is the messenger planet, but it's also the planet of knowledge and learning. Instead of somebody focusing on something that is just causing you just like to just grind your gears and upset you, somebody could be focusing on replacing information from the past that's coming up in your spirit and causing you anger and frustration with new knowledge, like, you know, taking a class or listening to p new podcasts or um, taking a sewing class. I mean, something else where you're replacing that knowledge about something and taking a dance class or y'all know what I'm saying? Like increasing your knowledge about something totally unrelated, keeping your mind on something, your purpose. Why, what, why, what's your purpose? Why are you here? Learning how to nurture yourself, your moon sign, pouring back into yourself, like nurt, like really being in that, um, you know, pouring more into yourself. So, um, so that's what somebody is doing. Somebody is, is doing that because right now there could be, there could be an Aries involved in some way, shape, from a fashion, um, somehow, cause I'm looking at Aries is Aries and Scorpio are ruled by the, uh, Mars. This is Mars, right? Aries and Scorpio are ruled by Mars. And, um, so, or if it's not an Aries, it could be a spirit that is causing you to be feeling disorganized, stern, and inflexible. So that could be somebody who's starting something like somebody is initiating. It may not, it may or may not be an Aries. It could be just somebody in general. It could be a, uh, a manager, somebody in your life that could be like, like uh, you know how some people like to start stuff. They like to start, you know, like somebody could be like, what's the word? Um, um, you know, people who start stuff, you know, like th that kind of stuff. They, they start in a whole bunch of mess, you know, that kind of stuff. So source is saying to you, Get away from those energies. Just get away from those energies. Now that somebody's in a light about something, somebody is becoming enlightened about some things. So it's like, get away from those types of energies. Get away because it's a karmic, it's a karmic relationship. It's a karmic tie. Somebody started some mess. So anyway, so here we have, and I do see this right here. So it's the same because you're carrying, the stay connected to them is like you're carrying their burden on your shoulders. Where Source is trying to put you on flights. Source is trying to expand your social group. Source is trying to introduce you to some new people. Source is trying to see these two swords right here. I mean, the wands, not swords, but right here. Source is saying some energy have disrupted your peace. And Source is trying to get you away from the energies. Like stop talking about certain energies. Stop being connected to certain types of energies. And remember, even if you have anything connected, you could have jewelry or clothing or anything that interject energetically ties you to these energies um the tricky part is if you have kids or like if they're family members you know they're family members if you got to ask the question is as family members who all is going to be over there it's probably best for you to say okay just need, leave your name off the list and you pick and choose who you want to be connected to in the family. If it's family members, right? You pick and choose. And so in that way, you all meet in a mutual, like, I mean, in a, in a excuse me, in a neutral area uh, where you all, y'all know what to do. Like pray about it, ask for clarity, right? Because somebody is really a prayer warrior. So your fight is not against flesh and blood. Sources saying it's against a spirit. Right. So that's what source is trying to help somebody to learn how to do. That's what source, so it's trying to help somebody learn how to do because somebody's like, okay, I know something. I, I now I know something. I know somebody, you know, like somebody is just like really in this. At this point, somebody has stopped, stepped down off of their throne and you're putting yourself in a very vulnerable position to step down off of your throne. And I've been seeing in the reading, I've been seeing in your readings, Leos, please don't step down off of your throne. Adjust your crown, Leos. Don't step down off of your regal lion throne. Don't step down off of your throne. So, so it's made saying until night, get some rest. Get some rest. Get some rest. You desire teamwork, but you do not want to team up with energies that's not that's causing you to be irrational in your thinking. Because for them, 
there's not there is no structure and authority in the way that they're thinking so your mind is just like all over the place somebody has called you to step down off of your throne tower moment right so it's causing somebody like i said here we have the eight of wands here so it's just saying get away from just get away from it to be fast Get away from it fast. It's two energies that source is saying, I need you to get away from those energies fast, fast, fast. Get away from them. I don't know who the two energies are, but physically stop talking about them. Physically get away from them. Like, because you're looking for a teamwork. There's not a part of your team. That's what source keeps trying to tell somebody. It's like these energies are not a part of your team at all. They're not looking for teamwork. They're looking, they're trying to feel some kind of selfish motive. And that's what somebody is not seeing. So, so it's needs you on your throne thinking. Come on now. Y'all got y'all too wise for this. You too smart. Too wise and too smart. So somebody's dealing with people who like to start a bunch of mess. They like to keep a bunch of mess stirred up. Very immature. Like to keep a bunch of stuff started. So somebody will get it. Here we have the six of swords here. Somebody's like, the source needs you to move on in childlike faith, not in fear. Faith, faith, faith. So you're going to have to defend your decision and get cut ties with some energies that like to keep it like they like to initiate a whole lot of mess. They like to keep a lot of stuff going. Seven of Pentacles. So I see somebody planting some new seeds somewhere else. Somebody's going to say, you know what? I need to get away from certain types of energies. I just need to, I need to detach. Here we have eight, because somebody is spending way too much time. When you see eight of Pentacles, you have at least eight streams of income in you, but you got incoming. It's like somebody is spending so much time in receiving mode of all of this, like somebody starting something. So it's keeping you eight hours a day thinking about something, the wrong thing somebody's thinking about. Here we have the Eight of Pentacles here. Here we have the Knight of Cups here. So sources and the only person that can save you is you. Because right now somebody is lamenting over something. Somebody's mad. They lamenting over something. Here we have the Nine of Pentacles. And Source is trying to bring you into financial independence. So you won't have any ties with certain energies at all. Certain ties with certain energies at all. Here we have the Page of Pentacles. You're going to feel like you have a whole new lease on life. So somebody is angry, but they're not angry enough to detach from, uh, from, they're not angry enough to detach from karmic ties. Um, here we have the high priestess energy and listen to your own intuition. So something is going to bring you into high priestess energy. I mean, for real, like something's going to bring you into learning how to listen to your own intuition is a magician card and teach you how to get away from energies that just disorganize and just initiate a bunch of chaos and confusion. Because some people, some people, they just like to just, all they like to do is start mess. So the source is like, I'm, the source is going to break up some, I'm tell, I've been saying this for like since last year, but karmic tight because Somebody is around some energies who like to lie. They like to keep a bunch of mess going. And that's the part somebody is not, somebody just refused to see this. Like, I, lover's card. Some kind of a partnership in business and or in love is trying to come across your path. But somebody's going to have to make a decision about some stuff. Like to do this is about self-love. Somebody's going to have to really do the mirror work. Really, really do the mirror work. Because there's some energies that's causing a nightmare. They keep invoking a nightmare. You keep reliving the same nightmare over and over and over again. Here we have Queen of Wands here. And so adjust your crown. Get to your throne. Adjust your crown. Um, cause source is trying to cook up something new for you, but you're going to have to cut off ties with energies that have a limited cause they're limiting your abundance, right? So it's like being around energies that have, okay, let me see if I can slow this down for a second, Leo. It's like being around energies that like to keep so much drama stirred up. They have their own selfish motive. They have their own selfish agenda. It's like misery loves company. Um, 
on the surface, it looks like they're Team Leo. But you won't, you'll find out the hard way that it's not Team Leo if you find yourself in trouble because these are the types of energies that if you find yourself in trouble, the most they have for you is when nobody told you to go that far. That energy, because they don't really have power because they're not your gods. And you'll see this if you take something too far. You want to be around people that's going to encourage you to stay on the throne in regal Leo mode. Like really sit on your throne and pray. Like for real. I know sometimes people think prayer is weak. Prayer and, mode and, and meditation. Sit on your throne in meekness and let source fight your battle. Whatever it is. Because somebody is talking around a whole bunch of mess. Like oh somebody need to be in jail. They doing this. They need to be that. That's what we see in the eight of... And it's causing you to feel restricted and almost having this kind of implosion where you are drying up your own creativity, your own joy, your own this. So you feel so restricted. You, if For somebody, you might feel like they can't even get some rest. With all your wisdom and knowledge, with all your wisdom and knowledge here, every time somebody keeps bringing up something, it's invoking another nightmare on Elm Street. Just a nightmare. So sources say, I'm going to wake you up from this nightmare. But the part that you have to do is you're going to have to cut some people off. You're going to have to cut some people off because they're burning you out. They're keeping you in a, a constant state of confusion. They keep you in a constant state of confusion. You have your own mind. You have high priestess energy and you have high priest energy. So that's balance right there. So be grateful that Pluto is retrograde because it's restoring balance to Mother Earth. It's basically like some energies don't want you to think for yourself. Anybody that is encouraging you to do evil when you've heard all kinds of let source fight your battles. Let this, it's almost, yeah. Mm -mm. I see somebody, like I said before, moving beyond something. So that's how you're going to be able to save yourself. If you're waiting for somebody to come save you, it's like I said, not only will you be watching this video, but you'll be watching other videos, other downloads and stuff like that. So it's just saying, it's, somebody's, it's time for you to get back to work, like working your job, you know, whatever it is, is something going to keep you busy. But Mercury being pre-shadow retrograde is, okay, now it's time to pick up some books, listen to podcasts, you know, do something that's going to increase your wisdom and knowledge, increase your prayer life and your meditation life. But in a physical sense, like really learn something in the physical sense to get away from this. That's going to help you to operate in a spirit of agape love. Something is going to help you to operate in a spirit of love, love, forgiveness, commonality. Something is trying to bring you to a higher frequency. It's trying to it's, it's something is trying to promote you. Spiritual ranking is trying to promote you. And with source, not something, but source is trying to promote you, your spiritual ranking, trying to promote your compassion. When you're dealing with some energies that's operating in flesh, that's just in fight mode. And so source is saying, it's time for you to get on your throne and be in regal leading Leo mode. And some people are looking at that as weak. Is it no, it's meek. You letting source fight a battle for you, letting source fight a battle, and somebody's not seeing that. Somebody is not seeing something. And so somebody got some people, somebody got some people around them that's like they love to keep a bunch of mess going. They love to because misery loves company. Misery loves company. So adjust your crown, Leo. You hear me say it almost every reading. Adjust your crown. And cut tie is two energies, two types of energy sources saying, don't get distracted. Because remember, maybe I see these two knives right here. Yeah. They have you, they have you fighting mad. They have you you blinded with rage. These two, like you can't even see straight. You just blinded with rage. I just want to go hurt some. That's the kind of energy that they have you like in just nightmare, keep invoking nightmare. Keep invoking nightmares. Source is saying, sit on your throne and carefully vet your thoughts. Sit on your throne and carefully vet your thoughts. Yep. Bible in one hand and a gun in another. Here we have the nine of um, nine of swans here. 
So, like I said, source is saying to you, right here, some kind of unexpected changes are happening, right? Somebody, um, somebody has a, um, somebody's going to feel very fortunate to have a loved one in your family that's going to speak to you in a spirit realm. They're going to speak to you about something in the spirit realm. Somebody could have an aunt or somebody that transitioned onto the other side. It's going to talk to you in the spirit realm. It's going to talk to you in the spirit realm about some things. Yep. Eight of wands. And they're going to tell you to get away from certain types of people. Because everything is going to remind you of just like getting raised, fired up and all that. You're going to watch movies that's going to justify, you know, that type of behavior, all that stuff. You're going to see all kinds of stuff is going to justify. And that's those energies trying to get you all riled up and upset and mad. But um, here we have the Ten of Coins here. Yeah. So, again, Source is going to put you around other financially independent energies because some energies will just leave you high and dry. So, you're going to feel like you have a whole new lease on life. Um because that's what some energy, they, they, it's a selfish agenda and somebody is being used. Somebody is being used as a very selfish agenda. They're not going to tell you what the agenda is because misery loves company. Misery loves company. But somebody will figure it out. So great, be grateful for, you know, loved ones on the other side that will get a message through to you. That will get a message through to you. But you got some people praying for you. So you made a positive impact on some people. You made a positive impact on some people. Um, so keep it on the throne. You have the gift of clairvoyance. You see things clearly now. You'll, you will see things clearly now. Time for you to dream bigger. You inspire some people to heal. So the spy is now turned on. Whoever's spying is now turned on. But um, somebody has a very bitter ex. Um, mm mm, -mm. Even with a bitter ex-love interest, keep it on the throne. For real. Keep it on the throne. Because I'm telling you, even people that all around you that seem like they team you and they're getting you all riled up, there'd be nothing they'll be able to do to help you. For real. They will not be able to help you. All that, the most they can say is, I didn't know you were going to go that far. Keep it on the throne. Let Source handle it. For real. Let Source handle it. That may sound weak to some people. Like, oh, no, I got to. No, mm-mm. Consider other energies involved. If you got kids, consider them. If you got, you know, that, yeah. Keep it on the throne. Yeah, so it's time to expand your brand. Put your fire towards something else. Put your fire towards something else. Because the energy that, yeah, the, yeah you have the gift of clear audience. Clear listening. Yep, so somebody never stopped loving you. But it's time for you to schedule a vacation. The time to schedule a vacation. You deserve the best. Everything in moderation. But you are an answer prayer to a lot of people, Leos. And um, if somebody has a bitter ex, that, that situation is already taking care of itself, for real. It's already taking care of itself. You need people around you that's going to pray for you. Not pray on you. It's pray on you so much so that they, didn't, they can't even see how it's the uh how something is causing you a nightmare and drying up your intuition so that's how you gonna this is your night energy right that's how you're gonna save yourself and operate in childlike faith the answers that you need are coming the answers that you need are coming something is gonna help somebody to um, flip like like flip in a in a positive way just like okay you know what let me let me let me focus on like learning like increasing my spiritual knowledge that's what somebody's gonna say okay let me increase my knowledge let me increase my spiritual knowledge that is not a sign of weakness at all leos it's not a sign of weakness you got people around the instigating that's what i that's the word i was looking for you got people around you instigating a whole bunch of mess and the most they'll be able to do if you take something too far is Oh my God, I had no idea. 
all of this. Mm -mm. You did. You got some energies that's working from their own personal agenda. Yeah, the queen. Yeah, so you got some energies that's working from their own personal agenda. And so sources saying to you, protect your energy. Protect your energy. You got too much knowledge and wisdom on thing about things. And um, so adjust your crown. Adjust your crown. 22, I am aligned. That's right, I am aligned. You are in possession of incredible creative powers. And it is assured that you can achieve anything you wish. That's right, it's achieve, uh, assured that you can achieve anything that you wish. So... I am always mindful and live only within each moment I have. Each moment that I have. Yeah, so... Yeah, the answers that you seek are coming. So increase your um, increase your spiritual knowledge. Flip the switch, like the switch from from darkness to light, from darkness to light. Get from around instigating energies that just like to keep a bunch of mess, gossip, stuff going. That's working on it from their own personal agenda. Get away from them energies because they're never telling you everything. They're not telling you everything. So here we have allowing. Radical acceptance says yes to reality in any given moment. So what's needed can come next. Yep. Here are the questions for the moon and Capricorn. First question is, what are your top three priorities this week, month, and year? The second question is, what are your biggest fears? The third question is, do you have specific daily rituals and routines that nourish you? The fourth question is, do you reward yourself when you accomplish something? And then last but not least is, how much of your day or week do you block out for self-care and personal development? That is what I have for you all. That's, uh, and I will see you all in the next reading. Bye.